What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Today we are at Denton Racing. He builds badass LS powered Jeeps, right? And what makes him stand out better from the other guy, he has his own valve covers. And his slogan is he's better than the other guys. Check that out. Not. That is not. <laughs> Stop it. That is not. They are sick though. Go check out his channel on the link below and his social media. I mean, this guy's stuff is sick. This is his personal Jeep here. What do you got on this thing? Whipple supercharger? Yeah, yeah. Sick. LSX. What are you making from this thing now? 1050. 1050? Unreal. 700 of the tire. He, uh, I'm gonna put a, check out this clip from when he took it to Glamis. He put, what, 40 inch sand paddled tires on this thing? Yeah. Today we are gonna be showing you Sean Steimer. He's bought this 79 Trans Am. Uh, it was a full resto mod. It's kind of a mutt of a motor, LS2 block, LS3 heads. And he was like, hey, I wanna make some more power. So he hit up Adam and they put an LSA blower on it. So they're getting the finishing touches on this thing. Adam, when's this thing gonna be done? Holy What's that? <laughs> 2025 at this rate at this rate i mean you can't take it to any car shows here in arizona there's pretty much everything's closed right yeah right well there's cars and coffee going yeah. on the first on the, on oh on the first that's where we're shooting for that's where we're shooting october for. 3rd yep where's it at uh fashion square all right fashion square everyone go there to see this car it will be running <laughs> <laughs> no but they're no getting pressure. they're getting really close they've been at it for a couple weeks here and this thing is just a beautiful build it's got a t56 six speed transmission doesn't have a Dana rear end. Yeah, no, it's got a Ford nine. Yeah. It's, like, it's got a what? Ford nine inch. A Ford nine inch rear end. It's got lockers on it. I mean, check out the underside of this. Thing. Sick. Custom exhaust. Custom exhaust. Stage two ported blower. Stage two ported LSA blower. I'm gonna show you the inside of this thing. It's pretty, pretty sweet. T top, removable T top, and. It is awesome car. Where you guys? You're gonna tune it at Cordis, right? Yeah. So, we'll uh, we'll get some more. You put the biggest pulley on the crank. So when we're talking about a bigger crank pulley, look at the size of this thing. This thing's massive. So, a bigger crank pulley will spin the blower faster, right? Because for every one turn of the motor, you're getting probably how many what turns of the blower? You think? I don't know the math. We don't know the math, but the bigger pulley you put on the crank, if you leave the pulley of the blower the same size, it will spin the blower at a higher RPM. So you either have to compensate with a bigger pulley on supercharger if you don't want to overspin this thing, or if you're trying to make a lot of boost, you put the same size pulley or smaller pulley on the blower, if that makes sense. Bigger pulley on the crank, smaller pulley on the turbo will make the blower spin faster. Otherwise, you end up with ridiculous intake temperatures yep you know, high intake temps equal low power so colder intake temps more power what do you think it's going to be uh it'll be making like 19 pounds of boost 19 pounds of boost <laughs> so we're going to find out if he's going to run out of fuel yeah probably that's going to be the that's next thing the next it's definitely going to need more fuel <laughs> I mean, what a beautiful build. Good for you for going for more power. What's the power goal here? Uh, what are we shooting 850. for? 850 to the wheels? Like <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, it, honestly, it'd probably be 800 to the wheels with the right amount of fuel. Yeah. If we did, and we might do 85, if we do if we do 85, yeah, it'd easily be 800 what's to the, the wheels. Uh, what's the story on that? Are, we, are you guys doing the 85 or no? We're gonna go to the dyno. We're gonna put it together the way it is, and then we're gonna go to the dyno and see how far we get on 91. Yeah. And then cross that bridge because we don't know what pumps in the tank and we don't, the fuel system, will, the fuel lines will probably have to get changed if we go to 85 because right now they're just rubber lines. Yeah. Ethanol, eat that stuff yep. up. So 
we'll right. just see where it sits with the way it is and then before we get ahead of ourselves. Well, sick build, Sean. Thanks, what else man. do you have to say about it? Very excited. He's very Teeth excited. Teeth and turbos. Teeth and turbos, that's right. <laughs> if you, if I'll, I'm gonna post a picture of his, this, this is his Raptor. And oh, because he, you're he, a dentist. Yeah, yeah teeth oh, and turbos, yeah. you like that? You like that? <laughs> so it's gonna be videos about toothbrush reviews and cars. Yeah, cars. <laughs> if you, here's a picture of Sean's truck. Uh, it's got black with gold wheels as well. But if you guys want to see more about what Adam's doing on his shop or have a Jeep build for him, he makes sick stuff. Huh? Do you care if I love the tires? No. On what? Raptor. He said he's going to light up his tires on his Raptor. Hey, Sean said he's going to do a burnout in his Raptor. Check this thing out. He's got all these rigid lights on it, method wheels, 37 inch Toyos. Well, that's it for another episode of Teeth and Turbos. If you like what you saw today, go check out Adam's channel. He's got some cool stuff on there. And uh, yeah, tune in for the next time. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Say something. One Cute. wheel peel. One wheel peel. <laughs> <laughs> One wheel peel. Oh, that's so dumb. Why can't you use the lock?